Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at chapter one, types and components of computer systems from the ICT IGCC course. If you check out the previous videos, we've already completed 1.1 and 1.2. So 1.1 was hardware and 1.2 was the main components of computer systems. Now we're going to be focusing on 1.3, which is operating systems. So what is an operating system? It basically is a system software which runs in the background, which manages the basic functions of your computer system. Examples would be Windows, Linux, and on mobile phones, you may have an Android um, application system. So what are the features of an application system? Um, so the first feature would be to multitask, to allow many applications to run at the same time. Uh, we can load and run applications into the memory. Uh, we're going to be talking about this as well. So human computer interface, so the interface that we can interact with to you know, select options and do uh, carry out uh, tasks using the interface, to manage the input and output um, devices, to provide security, real-time processing, uh, memory management, uh, file utilities like copying, saving, sorting, deleting files and folders, and ever handling. So let's look at this example, um, exam style question about operating systems. Describe the main functions of the operating system. So before we answer this question or we read out what we've written, the key parts have been highlighted in yellow. So the user interface, which is the human computer interface. Security, so any points I've highlighted are in this uh, box here. Uh, load and run, store applications, yeah, load and running of applications and so on. So let's read out this answer. So the operating system provides the user interface, which allows the user to interact with the system. In addition, the operating system provides security and prevents unauthorized access to, to a system. Files and folders can be created and organized. Furthermore, the operating system allows users to load, run, and store applications, and also decides what should be loaded into the computer memory. The operating system, com operating system also manages the input and output um, and storage devices in the computer system. So we can have two types of interfaces. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is the graphical user interface, and it's an interface that's built around graphics. So the key term to remember is WIMP. So if you remember this, you remember the four features that make up the graphical user interface. Windows, so it's an area for displaying information. Icons are small images used to present files and folders or applications. So you can see the example here, the obvious example is a recycle bin. So we can use this um, icon if you click on it to delete um, folders or files. And you can also click on a recycle bin to restore deleted um, files or folders. Menus, so this is a list of options or applications users can select from. And pointers, so we can use um, any pointing device, a touchpad, a mouse, a tracker ball to select items, um, could be options um, like files and applications in a menu to select um, icons to select different windows so we can move them around. So graphical user interfaces are quite easy to use due to the visual nature of the interface. You have visual clues as to what to do. Okay, so you can select options from a menu, you can have a look at different windows, uh, you can click on different icons, so it's quite easy to interact. And you also have post graphical, graphical user interface, which allows the user touch screen. So you can use pinching if you need to zoom in, um, scrolling if you want to go up and down, and expanding um, if you want to, uh, yeah, actually expanding allows you to zoom in. Um, so that's what I'm doing now with my fingers on my laptop and pinching if you want to zoom out. So if I just move my fingers outwards, you can zoom in. Uh, if you want to zoom out, I'm just pinching the screen and obviously scrolling. And here are some typical exam style questions. So a computer system uses a graphical user interface. Describe or write down two features of a graphical user interface and give a reason for why they're needed. So just think about these four features here, windows, icons, menus, and pointers. So windows, and this could be to see more than one task at a time. 
Okay, so you could have a word processing window open, for example, folders open, a spreadsheet open at the same time. So you can go between the different windows. Icons to click on the icon, um, for example, to open up a task or an application. Menus to choose all the available options and pointers to select from a menu option or to select an icon. And here are examples. So we obviously have Android on a mobile phone device. Uh, you have the Windows operating system and a Mac operating system. So you can see it's made up of icons that can be selected, many options as well. Okay, so we had, had a look at the graphical user interface. This is the command line interface. So this is CLI. So if we didn't have an operating system installed onto a computer system um, and we opened up the computer, we turned it on, you would see a black screen with some white text. So how would you interact with this um, type of interface? So a CLI command line inter interface would require uh, command prompts to be entered exactly. Okay, CLI is normally used by expert computer expert users as it allows them to uh, so let me say that again, expert users, as it allows them to, that makes no sense, that does it. So CLIs are normally used by expert users because we need to be entering exact command prompts. I think I have to go back and change that because it makes no sense. So why is it used by expert users? Because it's not restricted to a number of predetermined options. So if you look at the graphical user interface, you can only select an option within this menu here. The CLI provides greater freedom because we can type in command prompts and we can explore alternative options. Uh, let me just see if I can go to run. Oh, it's come up already. And this is a window, okay. So obviously I'm using this as part of my graphical user interface. Um, if I type in CD like this, it can go backwards. And now to my C drive, if I type in D, we can have a look at the contents of my uh, C drive. And we can type in other commands. Now, if I type in commands which are not specific, which are not recognized, nothing's going to happen. If I type in help, we can have a look at some commands that we can run um, in order to complete a particular, a particular task. So this is a CLI and there's no icons to click on. The only way of interacting is by typing in command prompts specifically. Um, you can't make spelling mistakes. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do uh, is, you know what, let's just, um, yeah, let's do this one again. So DIR um, displays a list of files and subdirectories in a directory. So that's what we did before. Okay, so these are all of the different folders that we have, including Windows. Right, let's close that. And we had to look at some of these commands. Okay. So let's now look at the advantages and disadvantages of each um, type of interface. So the advantage of the graphical user interface is uh, you don't need to learn any commands. Okay. The interface is easier to use. And you can use a pointing device or you can use a touch screen to select menu options, icons, and so on. Disadvantage, it would take up more um, storage space on your secondary device. It would take up more memory as well. And it requires an operating system to operate. Now, the advantage to the, to the CLI is it allows more freedom to use specific commands in interacting with the computer. It's possible to alter computer settings. However, the disadvantage is we need to learn these commands. Commands must be typed in with no mistakes and there is no visual aids. You're normally dealing with a black and white screen compared to the graphical nature of a graphical user interface. So here are some typical uh, exam style questions. So describe the difference between a CLI and a GUI interface. You've got all of these keywords here. So you've got WIMP, Windows, Icons, Menus, and Pointers. You've got Visual Aids. You've got Learn, Command Prompts, Predetermined Options, Expert User. Okay, so what we have here is my answer. So you can see when I do answer, I make use of the keywords. Um, 
I think about the keywords I'm going to be using, okay? And when I answer, I'm only answering in short sentences. I try not to repeat a point. So the graphical user interface always try to include what this stands for. Allows the user to interact with their interface by using a pointer to select windows, icons, and menu options. The graphical user, the GUI will have visual aids, which will make it easier for the user to learn how to use the interface. On the other hand, users are required to enter command prompts to interact with the CLI, command line interface. The command prompts have to be learned by the user. So, okay. And entered correctly. This would make the CLI interface more challenging for the user to, to learn. However, the advantage of using the CLI for expert users is that you're not restricted to predetermined options, which would be the case in the GUI. This would allow for greater freedom when using the CLI. So we can see we're going backwards and forwards um, in our response. So you could you could even you could even start off by saying um, both CUI and GUI allow the user to interact with the computer system, and then you can basically so that's a comparison, or you're basically saying what they both do. They both allow you to interact. Then you can go down the, the road of saying a graphical user user interface has visual aids, um, windows, icons, menus, and pointers, which makes it a lot easier. There's nothing needs to be uh, remembered. The CLI, you'd have to type in command prompts only using the keyboard. These would be have to these would have to be typed in exactly, and would have to be memorized in order for you to interact. Obviously, the the main disadvantage of using the operating system is it takes up more storage space on your secondary um, storage device, and also more memory would be required because we have to run those application uh, sorry those um, graphics. The CLI provides expert users with greater freedom. So there's lots of things to think about. When you are looking at these sorts of exam questions, please give yourselves a bit of time to think about the keywords that you want to incorporate into, into your answer. Okay, guys, please join me in the next video. Please like and share and drop your comments below. Thank you again, Thank you again for joining me in this video. Bye-bye.